Hi guys, you're with me, Tara Media here from Plant Sumo. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use futurekit.com. So we're going to sign up. You can use this app for free. You can get it on Android, on iPhone, or you can get it on Google Play. And yeah, it's a really straightforward app to use. You can use it just online, how I'm showing you now through this screen share. And it is really simple and effective to use. And there are many great features to it. So before we head over to start signing up, uh, you can, if you like this video, share, subscribe, give us a thumbs up. And yeah, if there's anything that you do want to see and you want us to review, then do share it in the comments section below. If there's anything else you want to know about foodyourcare.com, then please do leave a comment and we will get back to you and hopefully resolve or answer any questions you do have. So um, all we're going to do is press sign up you can use it to connect through facebook you can sign up with a google account or you can also sign in with apple if you want to do it manually and just enter your own email you can do that as well for this i'm going to use my google account so i'm going to log in and i'll be right back with you okay so once you've logged in i've just clicked if i just go up to my account i've clicked my account there and i press update profile now this is great because obviously it's around uh, education on foods so when you're putting in your personalized information it's actually giving you a tip on why this information on your profile helps so i'm going to select that i am oh gal a gal <laughs> i've never seen it like that before so i am at gal and the tip for why it's asking about your gender is because it has an influence on your metabolism body fat composition and dietary needs so just having these little bits of tips on your profile, it will just make it more specific and more personal to you. So the help you're getting out of foodyourcate.com um, is, yeah, it's really more helpful and more specific to your body and your needs. So uh, again, your date of birth. So the tip for the age, um, the tip for that is around age is it has a slowing effect on your body's metabolism and its calorie needs. And then your daily activity, again, it's showing you the tip. So if you're more active, obviously, the more calories you'll need to be eating. And most people are either sedentary or somewhat active. So um, you can select there if you're kind of active, if you're very active or, you know, if you're not that active. So I'm going to put active. And then your height. So for women whose height are five foot and for men, who are 10 foot um i think again it kind of goes off bmi so your calories will vary with that as well so the taller you are the heavier you are the lighter you are all this will affect your calorie intake and it will be different for each and every person so i'm going to put my height and then i'm going to put my weight to be honest i don't have a clue i'm just going to put this up i don't even know if that's right um, but i'm just going to put that for now and then it shows you your, your bmi so it will tell you all about your bmi so your body fat is calculated from your height and your weight you are underweight if your bmi is less than 18.5 normal weight is around about 18.5 to 25 and then overweight is 25 to 30 and obese is 30 or greater so although it's a bit it sounds a bit horrible that and a bit negative it's just always good to know so then well we, you can do something about it then can't you so okay now we've done that and we've updated our personal information and um, if you click account that's just all to do with your uh, postcode and things like that now you can go back to if you look at my history let's see um so this is some of the products i was looking at earlier when i was reviewing foodyourcake.com so it's kind of some of your favorites or what you've been looking at uh, if you've seen a product and then forgot what it was you can come on your history and it will be there so you've not lost the product if you want to get rid of that you can clear your history and um, just in the click of a button so if we go to community now you can see what's trending so you can ask questions on here people can respond back you can see what people have been cooking you can see people's goal weights and you know journeys you can see people's success stories all that kind of stuff all this comes up on community 
if you go on to recent this is the most recent post so it's a bit like instagram in a way but all about food and health regimes you can see obviously you follow him but we've not followed no one yet as it's a new account and then you've got your own personal information but again because it's a new account there's nothing on there just yet so that would be community and then if you want to browse around and look for kind of foods and look at you know what product uh, has what nutritional value you can find that here so if you're looking at some type of cookies for example you can go through and filter out exactly what it is you're looking for let's have a look say if there's a specific item that you're looking for let's just put maryland cookies if that was so random it's just because i was looking on cookies let's see what comes up there okay so that's just loading right so it's not even found that let's have a see if i type that wrong Maybe that was just a bit too specific. So I'll tell you what, let's put one of my favourites, <laughs> McDonald's. So let's just say we fancied a little cheat and, you know, we think, oh, God, what have I just ate now? So if we type in McDonald's, we can track what we've ate there now. So let's have a look at a McDonald's McChicken. Let's have a look at that. So 300 calories, 370 calories per serving for, I think that is literally just the actual McChicken uh, burger itself. So as you can see, it's not too bad actually. I thought it would have been graded a D, which is the worst, um, which is the red bar on the scale, um, but it's C. So it, we're only slightly going into amber there. So that's not too bad actually to what I thought it would have been. And if you scroll down, it gives you all the information on it. So it gives you how many carbs are in there, how many added sugars per serving are in there, how many food points it is. So that is a value of 10 food points. So food points are calculated by food cuts based on fats, carbs and fiber and also protein. So uh, it gives you a rating of obviously the food point value so 10 would be pretty high obviously it is processed so it's telling you that it's highly processed and it's just giving you all the nutritional guide on that if you wanted something really healthy obviously i've just chose the worst one possible just to kind of show you and um, you know the information you can get on things but if you wanted to substitute just something like i don't know let's just put an orange Okay, so if we're going to eat a medium orange, let's have a look at that. It just gives you all the nutritional values. So that's an A. Um, let's have a look. So that's obviously the best rated on there. How many carbs it's got, how much daily fiber it's got in it. The food point value is zero. So um, yeah, it's giving you all that good nutritional value there. You can see it all on the listing below. So we've got... Uh, some people commenting there as well uh, how much they like the orange you know how how it interacts well with their diet so you can get tips off people as well on and see what they're kind of saying about things they're eating and yeah like you can see it's got a lot of comments on that uh, and it's got a, a lot of people following that as well so let's have a look then at some diet tips so if you're looking for a specific article on vitamin d and how that can help boost your immunity let's see so you can see the health benefits the vitamin d and immunity you can see how vitamin d and covid19 are um ha how that helps and you can see how much vitamin d you need you can see people at risk of lower levels of vitamin d you can get every bit of information basically on vitamin d through this article if there's something in particular you really want to see then you could just head over to the diet tips and find it on that section so if you're looking for recipes then you can see what the most recent recipes have been added to food uk and you can so we've got keto meatballs, 185 calories per serving. It serves six and it takes 30 minutes. If you click onto that, it not only shows you the picture, it will show you the ingredients down below here. And it'll show you the actual um, 
food uh, guide on how to do that. So you preheat the oven, step by step process, it shows you how to do that. And then again, it will show you all the nutritional value to that recipe. So it really is great on educating yourself more about not just what to eat, but what the recipe has in it. And you can really learn about all the nutritional values. And you can also see it's not just about healthy foods, but we need that balance. So not everything is going to be 100% healthy all the time. Sometimes we need a good McDonald's fix or a good burger fix or whatever it may be you're eating. But maybe it's just about the knowledge behind that food. So if you do want to just type in a chicken sandwich meal from McDonald's, see kind of what content is in that and what nutritional values are in that and see, you know, what grams of fat you've just consumed. All this stuff is good to know because it just helps you think more wisely about food. And, you know, overall, look at the balance of your diet. So and that is Food UK online. You can get the apps on your phone and you can actually scan barcodes of food. And once you scan that barcode, it will pop right up with, again, the nutritional values of what's in that, uh, whatever it may be, whatever item you scanned, uh, how many grams of fat, protein, sugars, all that kind of stuff. And Food UK is simply just what it says. It's educating you all about food and just making you be a bit more cautious and a bit more conscious of what you're eating and having a balanced healthy diet so i hope you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial on how to set up set up an account with fujica and if you've got any more questions please just feel free to comment below if there's any more um you, you want me to get into a bit more detail with please do just leave a comment as well and i can do that and yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do give the thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. We really appreciate it. Um, thank you for watching. I've been Tara from Plant Sumo and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.